John McCarthy. We're here with David Ross, who runs a pod park at the top of the rock in Drimalee, the heart of West Cork. You met Mary in college, you got married, and you had three children, but then tragedy struck. Could you tell us a little bit about that? I, I met Mary in 1980 at, at college, and in 1982 we were married, and we came to live here at this farm in Drummond which I inherited from my parents. Um, we had three children in the course of uh, five years, effectively, and um, wonderful children and Mary's ability to make a home and to really give those kids everything she had was just fantastic. Um, just towards the end of the third pregnancy, um, she wasn't feeling very well and she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And effectively, the following 11 months with chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and so on was very, very difficult. I remember her sitting on the stairs here at one stage, uh, John, uh, just in tears because of just how hard it was for her to feel that she was going to leave the children. She knew that her illness was life, life threatening and fatal, really. And uh, so it was so difficult. Um, Mary died on the 26th of January, 1988. It was a, a deep and sad loss. Uh, she was just such an amazing person. She was such a wonderful heart for people and a love for God and it seemed so difficult to come to terms with. Death is hard. Death is so uh, final in many ways. Um, when one is married one has such a, a wonderful growing relationship and one has such hope for the future and then suddenly death comes in and it cuts just cuts it and it's, it's so hard to come to terms with. It was really, really difficult. Uh, there were three kids there around my feet and they needed love and care and attention and then effectively uh, they had lost their mum and they needed their dad full time effectively. So I was a farmer, I still am a farmer and my farm is all around us here. So I was able to farm and be a dad and my parents lived fairly close by and there were lots of friends and extended family and my neighbours here in Drummond Lake were wonderful and um, but that doesn't minimise how difficult it was. Uh, the kids grieved, I grieved. At night when I would put them to bed, when I'd send them up the stairs, I would come down and it was hard, yeah. David, where was God during that hard time? So many people have asked me that question, John, and uh, it's a very valid question. I would answer by saying that God was there. In fact, he was everywhere around me at that time. There's a verse in, a, in the Bible that says, when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. And the good shepherd that it talks about there is Jesus Christ. And I could say with all my heart that he was so present with me. When I walked down that stairs and I dissolved into tears, the next thing would be the peace and the joy and that deep inward assurance that God is in the midst of this. And even though death had cast such a shadow over our home, yet God was there powerfully. After that, I would find that the Lord would come near to me and comfort my heart and I would find peace and hope and the ability to go on and that came from Christ because he is the resurrection and the life. The fact that there is a heaven takes the sting out of death. Mary knew that because she was trusting in Jesus who is the way to heaven that she was going to heaven and I believe she is there. Um, for me when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me, 
I believe that Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us and that he will receive us to himself. The security of knowing Jesus in this life is the reality of knowing that you will be with him for all eternity. That makes sense of life, it makes sense of death, and it is, it is our only hope. And so therefore I believe in heaven because I believe in Jesus Christ. See you next time on cliffsofhope.com.